Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to going to continue with what we kind of started a little bit last week. We're going to continue as the Daily Ride, but we're going to do the Daily da daily Fire. Uh, it's going to be our thought process in this. For the last a little over a year we've been doing uh, Every Day with Jesus. We're going to do some Daily Fire. So it's going to change up the format a little bit. Instead of the questions at the end, we're not going to do that. Do that, but I'm going to give you some uh, scriptures to look over. As, uh, we're going to call that part "Mark My Word," and I'm going to give you a daily fire thought for the day. Uh, we are going to continue with our uh, uh, Bible through the year. It's going to kind of start all over again. And we're going to start in the book of Genesis and Matthew, and we're going to read some good scripture. But I'm going to give you two readings this time, one for the morning and one for the evening. So today's scripture uh, focus is going to be uh, John 9, verse 4, which says, I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. The daily fire thought for the day is... My desire is to fulfill the compulsion that God has placed within my heart to reach out to the unreached, to tell the untold, and to minister the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mark my word, some scriptures that I want you to kind of look at and just kind of for further study, so to speak, is going to be Isaiah 55, 1, Isaiah 61, 1, 2, and 3, Luke 4.18, John 9.4, and Romans 10.13-17. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is for the morning, we're going to read Genesis chapter 5 and Matthew chapter 5. We're going to also, in the evening, read Ezra chapter 5 and Acts chapter 5. Today we're going to be talking about spiritual need. People need the gospel. And their need creates a need in their heart of God. He needs to send us with the gospel. He knows that we must be born again, and he cannot just sit down on his throne and do nothing about it. That would be completely contrary to all that he has ever done. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, and then he Shall they call upon him? How shall they call upon him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans ten thirteen through fifteen, and then verse seventeen. God knows our need, and under the compulsion. Uh, uh, under compulsion to meet it. Likewise, if we who are made in his image know that the hunger of the world, we need to do something about it. Their need creates in us a need to help. And if you and I have plenty, then we cannot merely stand by and watch our neighbors suffer, suffer and die of starvation. The, tru the same tru truth is that of spiritual food. Our spiritual, need lies a, our spiritual need lies a compulsion on the heart of God. Our attitude towards others should be the same. What should we do, be doing to fulfill that need in God's heart? The same thing that Jesus did which were also a fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, and he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and opening the prisons to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance, vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn, and to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, and that they may be, be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Isaiah 61, 
1, 2, and 3. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on The Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.